Sunshine. When can we go in? Let's meet a construction worker. Chapter 1. Trucks with Teeth. Hiya, kids. <laughs> Our class is taking a field trip. We're visiting a construction zone. Mr. Moore greets us. He is the boss here. So glad you could come. He's going to show us how construction workers build a new building. He says we have to stay outside the fence. Workers only in a construction zone. Construction workers are people in the community. A community is a group of people who live in the same city, town, or neighborhood. Some construction workers work on buildings. Some build roads. Iron workers, concrete workers, carpenters, roofers, and plumbers are all construction workers. This isn't just any construction site. It's our new school. But right now, it's mostly dirt. <laughs> yes! Awesome! Aiden says. We can play King of the Hill at recess. <laughs> Mr. Moore smiles. All this dirt will be flat. You'll have a playground on top. We see lots of trucks. Some work with big metal teeth. Some have strong arms. An excavator digs wide ditches for basements. It digs narrow ditches called trenches for water pipes. It also moves dirt for making roads. The trucks don't do all the work. People are inside. They steer. They guide heavy loads. <laughs> Here we go. Chapter 2. Safety First. Mr. Moore used to be a carpenter. He helped build things with wood. Later, he was the lead carpenter. Now, he is the leader of all the workers. Yeah, right here. He follows plans that an architect created. Together, the workers turn those plans into a building. It'll be perfect. Yeah. Construction workers take classes and get training to learn how to do their jobs. They may start work as apprentices. That means they learn on the job from other workers. Mr. Moore's number one job is keeping people safe. He makes sure workers wear hard hats to protect their heads. They wear orange safety vests so others can see them easily. That's it. Yeah, beep, beep. A concrete mixer beeps as it backs up. Beep, beep, beep. The beeping helps keep everyone safe. Workers know to move out of the truck's path when they hear it. And stop. <laughs> Wet concrete flows through a long pipe to the ground. 
This will be our school floor. Drivers must get the concrete to the construction zone quickly. Concrete begins to dry after about 90 minutes. Then it becomes hard. It won't pour. Will we sink into it? Luke asks. Mr. Moore says the concrete will dry and harden. Then carpets and rugs will go on top of it. Chapter 3, Green School. Some workers work high above the ground. Masons build the walls with bricks. Someone runs wires for electricity through the walls. Crunch! A few bricks break. They will be recycled. So will leftover metal, wood, cardboard, and concrete. Your school is a green school, Mr. Moore says. Amia asks, apple green or forest green? <laughs> Not the color green, he says. Green means it's earth friendly. <laughs> Here we go. He unrolls our school drawing. Look, it's our school. Uh, wow. It... Solar panels on the roof will take in energy from the sun. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> This energy will power our computers, lights, and more. Big windows can also make a building Earth-friendly. Windows and skylights let in sunlight, so people don't always need the lights on. That saves energy. We can't wait for our sunny, green school to be finished. Oh boy, yes! Because Mr. Moore lends a hand to build our new school, we give him a hand. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>